Hi guys, this is Steven with AffiliateMarketingDiary.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a image header actually for your uh, blogger blog. Now in the last video we created this blog here, my exercise blog and if you didn't see the last video and don't know how to set up a blogger blog I would recommend that you watch this first before this particular video because it won't really make any sense to you unless you actually have a blogger account number one and uh, already have a blog set up. So we're, what we're gonna attempt to do here is uh, just go ahead and change this area out up here, this gray box and this text into something that's a little bit uh, better looking, something like this, a graphical header. And um, the reason we might wanna do that is to just make, you know, it looks like we actually put an effort into our blog. It makes it look a little bit more professional anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, log in to our blogger account. I'm already logged in, so just uh, if you're not, just go ahead and log in. And what you want to do is go to the template tab for your blog. This is my exercise blog up here. And um, what uh, the first thing you'll see is the page elements sub uh, menu. That's where you land once you click on the template tab. And this area here, my exercise blog header area here, is where you would actually insert the, the header image once you're done. But uh, before we do that, we need to actually create one, and we also need to know how wide that header needs to be. But before we do that, let's talk about the templates. Um, in the last video, or in the, rather on the, in the video, video on um, creating Blogger Blog, I actually chose this Mr. Moto template. And I did that for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, I'm used to using it, so I know what to look for, and I already know the dimensions of the uh, headers that I can create. And number two, this has a very pronounced header area up here. And also on the right hand side, um, that's where the menu is, uh, which is good for us because we want to put advertising right in front of people's face and where they tend to put their eyes first. So with that said, let's go ahead and go to the edit HTML area here and uh, just scroll down. And what we're looking for is an area that says pound outer wrapper, just like this down here. And uh, the pound outer wrapper, what we we'll look for under there is width. And you can see here it's 692 pixels. And that's actually the width of our image. You want to write that down. On some of these templates, you'll also see this number down here under header wrapper. You don't really have to uh, worry about it, but you should know that it could be there. So now that we know this, what we want to do is go ahead and find an image. And uh, I actually do that at sxc, sxc.hu. And uh, this website is a um, stock photo site, has royalty stock photos that you can use for free. Uh, it has been uploaded by members and such. If you don't have an account, just go ahead and sign up. It's completely free. And then uh, just go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in right here. Okay, so I'm signed in. And uh, you should know that some of these images, although all of these images pretty much are uh, free to use, some of these do have restrictions and uh, you need to ask for permission before you actually use the images. But um, what we want to do is try to avoid those and use, use images that, you know, have no restrictions. Okay. We are free to use it any way we see fit. So just go ahead and you can search for uh, your um, images right here. And since we we're on the exercise topic, just go ahead and type in exercise here. Once you typed it in, just go ahead and uh, search. And as you can see, it brings up a ton of images here, uh, actually 138 images in total. And you should also know that as you scroll down here, there's a premium results section down at the bottom here. And these you have to pay for. So unless you wanna pay for them, I would avoid these. And uh, just go ahead and scroll through until you find something that's suitable. I, I generally tend to like pictures that are kind of panoramic or you know, something that's a uh, landscape or something like that. It's pleasing to the eye. Um, and uh, if it's themed for your blog, then, uh, you know, it's all good. So uh, let's go ahead and search for some. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this image right here. It's pretty suitable, some dude on a mo mountain bike here. And um, also what's good is if you look at the bottom here, you'll see restrictions. And it says standard restrictions apply. And uh, generally speaking, that means that you don't need any permission to use this photo. Uh, a lot of times it will actually say that also on the right-hand side here. In this case, it does. 
And uh, we also can see that this is a relatively high resolution image, 300 DPI, which is good for us because that means that the image is very big for uh, at least for our purpose. Just go ahead and click this down, download button here. What's that go and that's going to do is actually uh, bring up another window with the uh, full size image here. And you can see it's a, some uh, guy on a mountain bike here. And uh, this is uh, perfect for what we want to use it for. So um, just go ahead and right click, say picture as, and then uh, name it whatever you want. And then uh, just go ahead and click save. Okay, now that you've saved it, what we want to do is go into your uh, photo editing software. Uh, most computers actually can't come preloaded with some kind of software like Photo Deluxe or something like that. If not, there are some free ones online. Uh, I generally use Photoshop or a software called G GFX Writer, which is this right here. And uh, it's a very simple software. It's about 20 bucks, I think. And it's perfect for creating header graphics, product covers, and also like ebook covers, DVD boxes, stuff like that. So the first thing that we want to do here is just go ahead and set the page size. We already know that it is uh, 692 pixels. And um, the height I'm going to use is 160. That's the same height as my entertainment blog's uh, header graphics. So it's going to be this size right here that you see right here. And then next what we want to do is go ahead and add in the picture. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add new pictures. This is the picture that we saved and it's going to bring it in really huge. So what we want to do now is just go ahead and scale this down. I'm going to scale it down to the width of the um, of the uh, header image that we want. And you can see here it's actually scaled it down. Okay, and now you can see that this is way bigger still than uh, the actual box here, but what we want to do is just go ahead and scroll this up and sort of fit it then without cutting this guy's head off. And uh, what I'm going to do is just leave a tad bit of white space here on the right hand side so I know what I'm doing because this particular software don't, uh, as far as I know, don't give you uh, a good visual of what's underneath here. Um, so what I want to do next is just put the title in here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a, a font that's suitable, uh, something like impact, it's uh, fat and nice looking. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use this one and I'm going to be creative and call it um, my exercise blog. Go figure. Okay, as you can see, it came, showed up on the screen here. And I'm just going to go ahead and position it over here. Push to right. Then I'm going to just go ahead and put the tagline at the bottom here. So just go ahead and type something in here. And uh, I already have some typed in here. And um, I choose a different font, something like this. Oops. Okay. And then I just reduce the size of the font, insert the text, something like that. And then uh, we're just going to go ahead and place this over here as well. And um, just move the image over so we don't have a white area. Export the image. And just go ahead and save it as an exercise header. And then save. We'll go ahead and bring up um, Windows Explorer here. This is the header that we just created. Right? I just clicked on it. That's what it looks like. Voila. Something that's semi professional, nothing fancy. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, plug this in now. So where we want to go now is back to the page elements area in the submenu, going to uh, the header area, and then uh, browse for your file. It's this right here. It's going to bring up the preview, right? You want to choose this image to be instead of title and description because you don't want any kind of uh, um, writing to appear here. And just go ahead and save it. And we, we uh, view the blog. Voila, there we have it. A uh, yeah, perfectly nice looking header graphic and uh, you know took us uh, about six minutes okay so maybe ten but uh, there you have it that's it folks and uh, thank you very much for watching this video
We'll talk to you soon. This is Stephen with AffiliateMarketingDiary.com. Thanks.